7,000 Erie Public School students walked to school, some walking up to a mile and a half, often in less than ideal weather conditions. Today, our Ethan Kibbe experienced the daily commute mm -hmm. firsthand for some students, learning about the problems some of them face and the work being done to address the issues. Academic success offers a way out of poverty, but the first step to that success is literally a step. So the United Way Tuesday led local leaders, school officials, and media members on a 1.2-mile walk to school, showing the struggles that students face daily. Student walking safety is part of a larger uh, attendance priority, where we know if students aren't attending school regularly, they're not going to be able to learn and, and succeed. Often, students face unshoveled sidewalks, loose dogs and other pets, and unsafe drivers who aren't alert to young children. But perhaps the biggest issue is busy intersections, where children as young as first and second graders cross large streets, sometimes with no crossing guards. To address that, the city school district is hiring more guards, increasing pay to nearly $32 an hour, and perhaps most importantly, offering flexible hours. We'll work with anybody if you have uh, just morning availability, if you have afternoon availability, if it's maybe a couple days a week, uh, please consider applying and we'll work to, to fit you in the schedule. For the last several years, the United Way has partnered with local schools, trying to improve student commutes by studying walking routes and posting signs to alert drivers. But problem areas still remain. Leaders say they're particularly concerned about areas like this. In the spring and in the fall, dense brush provides cover so that someone wishing to harm children could hide themselves. And in the winter, it's a different problem. The sidewalks usually aren't shoveled, meaning young students end up walking in the street. And oftentimes, when we come through the viaduct, we're walking in the street anyway. So we're walking on ice with 40 little kids. Truly keeping kids safer, experts say, starts at the neighborhood level, where a few simple changes could make a life-changing difference to local students. Slow down. Uh, shovel your sidewalks. Help your neighbor who can't. Um, there are small things that we can all do that when we all do them together, it's going to lead to more students being able to get to school regularly and on time. Ethan Kibbe, Erie News Now. And remember, you are legally obligated to keep your sidewalk free of ice and snow, and you must make sure your pets are properly restrained as well. I do wonder if Ethan knew he was going to be walking over a mile at work today. Oh, he was prepared. <laughs> yeah, good.